Hello there. How are you this morning? I hope you're doing good. I'm doing good. I'm doing great. I'm doing awesome sauce. Are you doing awesome sauce? I am. All right, here I go. And I switched it up on y'all. This is my left hand. And I have Jimboya for HIV. This is my right hand. I have Cymbalta for what? Depression, anxiety, and pain. And it helps me. It helps me a lot. I don't know about the pain. Maybe a little. But depression and anxiety, it helps me a whole lot. Mm-hmm. Push my glasses up on my big old nose. So anyway, so yeah, I have Jim Boyer. Mm-hmm. Jim Boyer. See? Look at it real good. Look at it. Look at it. Okay. And some Balta. Wanna see? Wanna see real close? See? What color is it? You see one color? You see two. Which one? You see three colors? Which one? Okay. <laughs> I be tripping on myself sometimes. Let me go and take these pills. But you have Jim Voya and he have Simba. Jim Voya, Simba. Jim Voya, Simbalta. Jim Voya, Simbalta. What's that? Oh, that's hair. <laughs> anyway. Jim Voya, Simbalta. Yeah. Jim Voya for HIV, Simbalta. Yeah. Jim Voya, Simbalta. Yeah. Jim Voya for HIV, Jim. Let me stop. <laughs> I know I didn't poop. It was my bottle. Girl, get right. All right, that was some good water. Yeah, I'm getting ready to go to my doctor's appointment. Mm -hmm. My heart doctor. Make sure everything's all right. No, I don't have heart disease, but I have a heart doctor. Okay? I believe in getting care for it. Everything, including my eyes. Y'all remember I diagnosed with glaucoma a couple months ago. Had my um, eye laser surgery. Sometimes my eyes be looking red, like I'm high off something. Like when I used to smoke marijuana, my eyes are red, but I don't smoke marijuana no more. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I don't smoke marijuana no more. Yeah, some people are like, girl, you might need to smoke marijuana to help them eyes so you can see. It don't matter if I smoke marijuana, I'm still blind without these glasses, okay? So I can see. I did some twisting of my hair last night. My daughter thought it was just the funniest thing. Mama, you gonna let it lock? I don't care if my, I can, my scalp can breathe. Hey, Wisdom, how you doing? You doing all right? You doing okay this morning? You all oiled and stuff? Yeah, all day. I don't care how my hair look. Hey, it's me. Y'all ain't wearing it. I'm wearing it. You know what I'm saying? Brianna, I'm wearing it, not you. <laughs> I'm wearing it. So anyway, so I want to let y'all know that I had, um, I got a text message on my Instagram page. And it was from a lady. And she asked me, how do I go about exposing or telling that I'm HIV positive? And I thought that was just the nicest question to ask. Any questions is, is a good question. Even if it's something stupid, it's a good question because you asked the question, okay? So she had texted me like a few days ago and I finally reached back to her and I apologize, let her know why, you know, let her know I'm sorry that I responded so late. Honey. She said she just want to talk to me 15 minutes. We stayed on the phone for two hours and 54 minutes. Yes, I said it. Two hours and 54 minutes. It was the best conversation I've had in a long time. Thank you, girl. So y'all know I don't I don't expose nobody who's HIV positive as far as giving their names and all that kind of stuff. Because y'all don't need to know that unless they want to tell it. This one just keeps staying up. But it's okay. But we the spirit connected you know what i'm saying that spirit sister 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 to christ sister sister period color to color we we connected and it was wonderful it had to be wonderful if we stayed on the phone for two hours and 54 minutes and i don't know how many seconds but yeah i learned some stuff she learned some stuff we learned some stuff together and now we are sisters for life so thank you lady the lady 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 thank you thank you thank you and i say lady because i ain't give you no names you don't need to know who the name is unless she ready to tell it anyway so thank you so much for um inboxing me asking me the question um 
thank you god for letting her have a wonderful spirit yes god mm. God is awesome. You know what I'm saying? So I got prayed when I was first diagnosed that I want to meet more positive people and not just people that are HIV positive, but just positive in general. But yeah, it was wonderful, you know. So I think a lot of a lot of us women, a lot of us women, I mean all colors, all colors, but especially black women cuz a lot of them is so not so, but a lot of them still have not came out. They're afraid. They feel ashamed. And I understand that because we go through grief periods. I went through a grief period. You know what I'm saying? Like the first um, nurse that I met that worked for the ID doctor, it stands for infectious disease doctor, told me I need to join a support group. And I'm like, I don't want to be telling strange people, you know, especially women that I'm HIV positive. And that was a negative thought. God said, girl, you better go find one. So as soon as I start opening up, girl, I, I've been telling the world. You know that I'm telling y'all right now. I'm in the Essence Magazine. I'm in the New York Times newspaper. I've been on the Rick and Smiley Show for World AIDS Day. Come on now. I'm doing it. You know what I'm saying? I ain't getting paid, but I'm doing it. You know what I'm saying? I, you know, I'm getting paid through, through God. You know what I'm saying? He, he eventually going to... He paid me. Okay, God is paying me now. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm free. Ain't locked up no more. Ain't locked up. So come on, women, unlock yourselves when you're ready. Tell your stories when you're ready. Okay? Can't nobody make you tell your story. And nobody's supposed to be telling your story unless you give them permission to tell your story. And for the girl who doggone told about gutter story, girl, God know who you is. And I'm talking about gutter K. God know who you is. So stop telling people about other people's diagnosis because it ain't your business it wasn't your business when you told it in the first place okay let me calm down but yeah thank you honey thank you so much lady for calling me texting me and all that stuff it's gonna go down one of these days so that's all i wanted to tell y'all i took my meds and remember what my daughter not here she in school you equals you like she say and we are responsible for our own actions See ya. Oh yeah, I'm on my way to see my heart doctor. <laughs> it's my hair. I love my hair. It's my hair. It's my hair. Nobody else's. So you can say whatever you want to say. It's my hair. It's my hair. It's my hair. Thank you, Saints. <laughs> Go have some. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, look at my grave. It's, it's something. It's great. This one right here is just so good. <laughs> and it's just like, you know, for some reason. For some reason, you know what I got this thing over here. It's alright, though. Mr. Grip, did he find a spot? He found a spot right over there. Hi, Mr. Grip. Now I got my I got my bracelets on. I made my daughter in her own bracelet collection. Look at that bracelet collection. Hey Brianna, you got your bracelets on this morning? I think she got her bracelets on this morning at school. Oh, I hate my ears. What we gotta do? Yeah, this is what this is the game result. <laughs> And that is the thumb. And then I got this. It's the end result for that hand. And then this is the thumb. Y'all, this stuff will keep coming back right. You see, it just keep coming right back right. We're gonna get it together, though. We're gonna get it together. It's gonna be right behind my other elbow. 
I never get a chance to like smash it down. But look at my wisdom, y'all. I'm enjoying my wisdom. Hey, y'all, I love it. It's, this is what God has grown, has given to me. <coughs> I'm waiting on somebody else to get finished checking in, so now it's next and be my turn to check in. Hi, how are you? Uh, Lisa Britt, 9.30 appointment. Well, hello again, hello again, hello again. Here I am, Lisa Britt, coming to you live from my living room. Who's in here with me? Oh, St. Ain't's. Where she at? Oh, look at girly girl laying in that chair. Hey, girly girl. Girly girl. Doogie, I see you, Doogie. And there's a black cat. I see a black cat. Come on. Went to the side. Heard me get up and ran over that way. Okay, anyway, it's that time again. What time is it, Andrew? It's mess time. It's mess time. It's mess time. <laughs> All right, here we go. Shaking my head. Ooh. Nigga. No, you ain't gra That nigga growling at me. Crazy. Brianna, come get him. All right, we have Jim Voye for HIV. HIV, I said. Cymbalta. 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 What's it for, y'all? Come on, tell me. Okay, depression, anxiety, and pain. Jim Voye for HIV. What does initial stand for? I'm waiting. Somebody tell me. Comment below. Somebody tell me what the initials mean. HIV. I said HIV. Hey, I said H. <laughs> The cough is good. Y'all, I can play around about me having HIV because it don't bother me no more. I don't play around with other people and their feelings. But me, I could do that. You know what I'm saying? I, I could do that. You don't want to be around me. Hey, that's on you. That's on you. It's up with this necklace. I hear you back there yawning. It's too early for that. Turn around, necklace. All right, so I just took my meds. I took my meds. I got to run out of here because I got a, another doctor's appointment. Pain management. You know what I'm saying? Pain management. But I ain't taking no strong-ass drugs. I ain't trying to get hooked. Mm -mm. Okay, so that's all I got for you. So, time you take your meds. Go ahead. Hey, butterflies back there. I see yellow over there. I see purple. I see blue. And I see pink. Anymore? Nope. So, yeah. That's it. Take your meds. Take your meds. Take your meds, okay? I don't care what it's for. It could be for diabetes. It could be for a cold. It could be for ulcer. It could be for anything, okay? You equals you, okay? I can't get this to nobody because I'm undetectable, okay? I'm undetectable. I can't get this to nobody. Okay, I can't. Yeah. Brianna not here. Brianna not here. She can't say it. You equals you and whatever else my daughter said. But take your damn meds. If you don't take your meds, you're going to be down at Grady. That's enough. Or you're going to be at Crawford Long, Emory, Wellstar, or wherever your insurance allow you to go. That's all, folks. Remember what? We are responsible for our own actions. See ya! Want to say anything else? Nope. Bye-bye. 
So hello everyone, I'm going to my doctor appointment I had scheduled for today. And I'm on time. You coming do? You're welcome. And I'm on time. So let's see. Should I go where I'll get hit? I know it said 315 over there on that building. So that's where I'm going right now. And I'm actually down here at the old Atlanta Medical Center where they closed off this hospital, which I think is ridiculous. But yeah, that's where I'm at right now. Yes, ma'am. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> I can't even talk on here. I'm sitting up recording. I said, true. I can sense her, Tremit. I'm like, what is, is, you know what I'm trying to say. Treatment. <laughs> it is the eighth, y'all. Oh, this year is going by so fast. All right, so, oh my God, this is a packet of stuff. This is a packet. Okay, y'all, I'm in my doctor's appointment. I'm at my doctor's appointment, not in my doctor's appointment. Y'all know what I mean. And I'm filling out paperwork right now. And I got some more subscribers. Thank y'all. Let me pay attention to what I'm doing. And I got some more people to subscribe to. Here at the doctor's office. All right, so I don't know if y'all remember me saying about talking about HS. If I'm pronouncing it right, it's hydrogenitis superativa, and basically it's like an inflammation in this in this body, and you get like some people call them boils or cysts. So I have one here growing now. I just got this just got this one down, but it's left the mark. And then this is another one coming up right here. I hate these things. I've been getting these since I was 12 years old. So you get them on your face. You get them under your arms. You get them under your boobs. You get them between your legs. You get them in your hairs. You get them in your in your butt crack. Yes, I said butt crack. You get them on the outside. Girl, you get them everywhere. Male and female. And there's millions of people that have this. I guess you call it skin disease or whatever, but it's not a disease where it's contagious, no. It's not contagious. 725-68. I'm talking too much. So, yeah, and um, so the only doctor that really can treat those are dermatologists. Dermatologists are the only doctors that can treat your skin, okay? So my primary care physician has been giving me, she's been giving me some antibiotics like clindamycin, uh, the oral kind, and the the liquid kind that you like rub on your skin or whatever partner's name preferred name if different than above oh i got you um uh, what am i i'm black wow this is the first time i have never seen they usually have african-american i don't see african-american on here i see black girl i'm i'm black or like my daughter used to say when she was little mom why you say you black you ain't black you brown I mean, when she learned in elementary school, they learned about the colors, right? Black, brown, blue, white, pink, yellow, green. And if you look at it, what color is this? It's black. What color am I? I'm brown. I'm brown. So they need to put brown people down here, too. All right. Um, race, yes, yes. Home, sale. So, yeah, I'm starting to come out now about my HS. And there are uh, Facebook pages that have um, HS groups. 
haven't been on it in a minute, but I'm a member of a couple of them. Premier Insurance Company. Okay, yeah, I'm done. Look at that. Come on, stay over there. Ooh, my forehead is so sh shiny. You can fry some bacon on it. Okay, so I'm I'm done with my rehabilitation physicians group PC. That's where I'm going. I'm trying not to get lost. Up in here, up in here. But yeah, man, this is cool. This is cool. Oh, wow. Okay. All right, going on the elevator. Mm, I don't know where I'm supposed to go. The bridge? Oh, no. I don't even know where I'm supposed to go. Say lower level, so we're going to find out. Because I forgot. That was a good... a good doctor's appointment. Lower level going up. Oh, I was on lower level. LL. Yeah. LL. Okay. Lower level. Yes, I'm right. <laughs> oh my goodness. Cause like, whoa. Okay, so I can close this paper. Let me get this paper out. Okay. Jerky. Headed out the door. I'm headed out the door. <laughs> All right, so get ready to go to my car, y'all. Okay. Wait. How did I? Which way did I? Girl, I think I came this way. Oh my goodness, look at the building. It's so tall. Yeah, am I going right? Yeah, I'm going right. Y'all, I'm not used to coming down. I think this is like my third time coming down here. Okay. All right. I'm just thinking that smells like cat piece. Okay. Here we go. And I'm done. And I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. All right, yeah, I'm finna get in the car. And I'll be back with y'all. Three subscribers one day. It's getting up there. It's getting up there. But yeah, that's what I'm doing. So I'm getting ready to go back home. Okay, bye. Love you. Okay, I'm done. I'm in the car, y'all. I'm done with my um pain management. Nice, nice, nice. And um, I had a nice visit. Very nice people. A lot of them is following me now on my YouTube channel and my Instagram and my TikTok. So, hey, I got it. Chihuahua. Chihuahua.